All right, it's time for another episode of Better Data, Better Results. And today, we are talking about an issue that is all too common, but easily correctable with the right tool. Today's episode is all about chemical pump calibration. As we've discussed before, well aware baseline data has shown that three out of four chemical injection pumps miss target rates by over 20%. Bad pump calibration is a common contributor to this problem. Chemical pump calibrations are a snapshot in time. A technician goes to the injection point and uses a sight glass to observe the delivered injection rate from the pump under those particular environmental conditions. But conditions change. The weather gets colder, pump components wear, pump suction and discharge pressure fluctuate, power conditions deteriorate, you get the idea. Changing conditions also change the output of the pump. A pump that injected five gallons per day three months ago, for example, might only do four gallons or seven gallons per day today, depending on changing conditions. Calibration can be a time consuming process, so we can't repeat it all the time to make sure we are on target. We need an automatic way to identify when a pump goes out of calibration and a way to fix it, even without leaving our truck or office. Let's take a look at how we identify and correct pump calibration issues with WellAware on-demand chemical. So here I'm looking at the WellAware on-demand chemical platform, and this is a chart screen of the Newton site, and I'm charting product volume for this particular chemical tank. And at first glance, nothing seems to be amiss. This is product volume over the course of the last six months or so. And I can see that normal cycle of the tank emptying, being refilled and emptying at what seems to be a relatively constant rate. But if I take a closer look, I might notice an issue. First of all, we'll look at the temperature over time. We can look at the connect temperature, which monitors ambient temperature. This is the average daily temperature over the course of this time period. So at the beginning of this, we're in the middle of June. And we can see that now we're in October. Notice that the average temperature has cooled off considerably. Also note, this site uses solar power to power the chemical injection pump, which means that we charge a battery using a solar panel. Well, naturally, as the days get shorter, we have less energy available to charge that battery. And so we see that the power has actually gone down as well. So now let's look at the injection rate set point. So we see that at the beginning of this, the injection rate set point was 12 gallons per day, but we changed it and recalibrated the pump to hit 16 gallons per day in the middle of July. Now let's look at the observed injection rate. Ah, here's the issue. So while we saw that for the most part through the warmer months, we were actually hitting the target injection rate, we start to see that tailing off in the colder months. We're trying to do 16 gallons per day today but because of a calibration issue, we're only injecting about 14 and a half gallons per day. Now that not, might not seem like much, but it's a problem we need to get addressed. So let's look at how we would fix that using the WellAware field app and using remote control on the WellAware web platform. All right, so now I am using the WellAware field app to adjust the calibration on this particular device. I've connected to the device which controls my pump via Bluetooth using the WellAware field app. And what I can see is the various WellAware apps that are running on this device. So in this case, I'm gonna click on the pump app. Now, the first thing I wanna do to recalibrate is go to advanced settings and clear the existing calibration. That'll give me a fresh start. So go back and I will click calibrate pump. Now, this is a really simple process. The first thing I need to do is select the type of pump. In this case, this is a timed pump, which means it uses a single speed motor with an on off duty cycle to achieve an injection rate set point. I'll click next. Now I wanna make sure my valves are in the correct position. So I shut off the valve to the tank and I open the valve on the sight glass, click next. So now I'm gonna run the calibration process. Normally this process would take 60 seconds, but with WellAware it's much shorter because we account for all the math. So I'll go ahead and click start calibration. The pump will come on and I'll see the drawdown in the sight glass. And I'll let this run for a few seconds, usually about 10 seconds or so. Now I'll click stop and the calibration is stopped. And I observe the number of quarts per day drawdowns I see, I click next and I'll put that number in here. So I saw a drawdown of 35 quarts per day over that period of time, click next. 
And now I confirm that my max pump output is 51.4 gallons per day. This looks correct. I click confirm. I'll put an injection rate set point of 16 gallons per day. Click next. And that's all there is to it. Just got to make sure to reset my valves to start injection from the tank. For most chemical pumps, calibration is based on running the pump at some duty cycle or percentage of max output. For example, let's say I have a pump with a calibrated max output of 100 gallons per day, but I want to inject chemical at 20 gallons per day. In this case, I would run it at a 20% duty cycle. But if the max output changes, that duty cycle number needs to change to keep my rate at 20 gallons per day. So if the pump calibration changes and the max output of the pump changed to say 80 gallons per day, I would need to inject it at a 25% duty cycle to keep up. All right, so before we jump into the WellAware web platform to change the pump calibration, I wanna show you a very simple tool that we've created at WellAware. This is an Excel spreadsheet that will help you correct the pump calibration by calculating the new max pump output. So all we have to do is enter the current max pump output, which is 81.5 gallons per day, the current injection rate set point, 16 gallons per day, and the average observed usage rate, which right now is 14 and a half gallons per day. And now we see our new max pump output is 73.86. We'll round it up to 73.9 gallons per day. So when we go to remotely change the calibration, that's the number that we will use to adjust the max pump output to get our pump calibration in line. And for those who are interested in using this tool, this is available in the link below in the video description. So I'll jump into the WellAware control platform here on the web application, and let's go ahead and change this. We'll click max pump output. We'll put in a new value of 73.9, click send confirm, and that's it. So that's how we change the max pump output to fix the calibration with WellAware On Demand Chemical.